Let's talk a little bit about superhuman powers, like X-Men and, and mutants and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, these aren't superhuman powers. They simply are powers, magical powers that you would consider magical now, that were phased out as humans uh, lowered their vibration into the third dimension uh, for many reasons. One is a safety reason uh, because whenever you're living in that kind of fear that was in 3D, you certainly do not need to have that level of uh, super abilities. Okay? So, when you, when humanity, when beings went down through the densities into 3D. They were in 4D going down. And now they'll be in 4D coming back up, so to speak. Yeah, so to speak. As these beings, humanoids, um, lowered into 3D, they gradually lost the ability to do these magical superpowers. It's not that any of them have gone away. It's not that the capabilities aren't there. They have always been there. But the belief in them is no longer there. And because we are creator gods, if you don't believe you can do something, then you can't do it. It's that simple. Because you are a creator god. Now that was meant to be because of 3D and it's it is so slow and it is so dense that having those kind of abilities would have been dangerous to the planet and to each other. Um, but also, they just don't operate um, in the third dimension. Because third dimension is a fear-based place. And fear replaces everything. Everything is fear. Well, in order to do magical stuff, you have to be very instinctual in what you're doing. You have to have faith. You have to trust. You have to know that these things will occur. Okay? So, in order to get back up out of 3D into 4D, you have to know like you know like you know that superhuman powers not only are possible, but they always have been, and they've always been here. And it's simply a matter of playing a different game that has caused people not to be able to do them. But with the new beings that are on the planet, and a lot of high vibratory beings have come back, those magical powers, so to speak. Especially telemetry, telekinesis, um, fireballs, um, that kind of thing. Uh, those have really come back a lot. Um, part of the process of getting out of 3D and into 4D, part of that was the stories about all of these um, magical creatures and magical powers and this, this tendency over the last 20, 30 years for science fiction. It's to bring that back into our heads again. That if you say it over and over and over again, a belief system will start to be developed in the society as a whole. And then these um, magical abilities will come back as well. Of course, for those of us who are star-seeded, we remember those things easier than a long-term human would. Uh, it's been a long, 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 long time since they've seen anything magical. Long time. And when they did see any of it magical, they really didn't believe that it was magical. They, they believed it was some kind of a trick. Now, as the higher vibratory beings are, are born on this planet, they are coming back with it, just like in the movies, with the, the young people become these mutant genes, where they've got these mutant abilities, except we're just kind of remembering the abilities that we've had all along, that we forgot so that we could get down in the lowest levels of 3D to have those experiences.
okay? But now as we go back up, as these new vibratory beings are born on the planet, they are coming back with all kinds of magical um, abilities, and they're learning even more, faster and faster and faster. So once you see them and you start seeing magical things happen and you start seeing yourself do them or you see a fairy for the first time and you remember, it's easier to go to the next magical thing and the next magical thing and the next magical thing until it happens so quickly that the magic is the norm. Whereas it got to be so that magic was not the norm anymore, that there was no such thing that we'd convinced ourselves that uh, magic was just make-believe, that it didn't really happen. Okay, then there are things like Jesus, where he turned the water to wine and, and healed people, so we ever so often would throw in a tad bit of it, so it wasn't completely gone. But now those things are really, really changing. A lot of beings now are capable of doing all kinds of cool stuff. The second that you get over the belief that they don't exist is when you'll start seeing them again. And when you start seeing them again, you'll start believing them in them again. And you will be able to believe, you will be able to do them again. Okay? So it's all based on you being a creator God. If you don't believe such a thing exists, then absolutely you get your way. You are a God. You always get your way. And it will look like they don't exist. If you absolutely believe in them and want them in your life and you believe it, then that's exactly what you will get. Because you are a creator God. You get what you want. Okay? Does that make sense? All right, that's it for this one. Love you guys so much. Huge hugs. Bye now.